Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today we are going to Goodwill to thrift for some vintage home decor and whatever else we can find. But today's video is brought to you by Smart Wings. They sent me some smart blinds, so I will be sharing them with you as well. And I will also be showing some of how I have decorated with my thrifted finds. So let's go thrifting. And the very first thing I found was a full-size McCoy pitcher and basin in the blue glaze. I couldn't believe it. And it was reasonably, reasonably priced as well. And a full set of uh, mixing bowls, batter bowls, uh, but I think those were reproductions. This little cutie I carried around for a little while. I really, really loved it, but ended up putting it back on the shelf. I'm loving this lamp at $9.99 too. This rocker was only $9.99 and in pristine condition. I couldn't believe it. It was so gorgeous. I don't have a place for a rocker right now, oh, but someday, hopefully. I was completely impressed with these two thrifting trips that I made. There was so many good things and treasures to be found. They were everywhere. I just, I, I couldn't believe it. And I know you won't believe it either when you see how much good stuff was there over the last couple. I can't believe I didn't go broke, really. <laughs> I'm pretty good about sticking to my budget though. This basket was really cool and believe it or not that basket is still at Goodwill and I haven't purchased it. I've been tempted every single time but I just don't need another basket of this size. <laughs> I really loved the pattern work on this lamp. I thought it was so pretty and I just happened to see another shade down the line <laughs> with some pattern on it as well. So I just decided to put them together. There was no price on the shade. I was looking for it because actually I'm looking for a small shade for a small lamp, milk glass lamp at that. Um, but 
this one is not what I'm looking for. So I forget to mention in the haul, but I did bring both of these pictures home with me. I originally bought one and I liked it so much when I hung it on the wall that I got my little buns back in my car and went straight back to Goodwill and bought the other one. But there was amazing artwork today at Goodwill. There was so much I could have brought so much more home with me. I loved that one and I really liked the frame on this one as well. Guys, I was just overwhelmed by the amount of goodness today at Goodwill. I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if these are jam pots. That's a McCoy. Oh, I don't know. Shoot. So many cool things today. Look at that. $5.99 and then it has the little tray for $3.99. So guy is $3.99. Adorable. I just keep finding them. That says $4.99. Oh, that's $3.99. I see. <laughs> Holy smokes, it's like somebody got rid of their whole silver collection, which I say. USS Everglades. It's different. $3.99, very simple. It's like pewter, maybe? This table is really cool, too. $19.99. Definitely needs to be a different color, but I like it. I just found a ginormous pizza paddle for $6.99. <laughs> Whoa. My eye was immediately drawn to this coral color. I knew it was something. I had a hunch, and I was right. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't... Do there's just two plates there. I didn't bring these home because I have nothing to go with them, but I did like them. $3.99 for that. I really like that. But that is really cool too. That is, is that $8.99 I think, or $6.99? I can't hardly read it. My contacts are dry today. What's this guy? Oh well. These are so sparkly, pretty. There's two, $9.99. Love it. Also, I love these two. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's missing its little thingamabob. These lemons were amazing quality. I didn't realize that somebody had opened the bag. They were so nice and really heavy. Um, Somebody is going to get a steal with those. But I don't decorate with lemons. It's just too bright for me. <laughs> but they did have all this other fruit over here as well. And they were really cool. Uh, the pears and the apples were from Pier 1. So I thought that was neat.
I thought that today I would start with my haul. Um, I would show you my haul, then show you how I have decorated with some of the things that I have found recently, uh, as well as share with a DIY, one of my DIYs with you and my Smartwing blinds. Uh, they sent me four sets of blinds. Um, I'm going to be showing you the ones in my living room and kitchen today. And then later on, I will show you the ones in my living, or sorry, my bedroom and my craft room office area. So let's start with the hall. Very first thing, let's see. I need to clear out some stuff without you seeing it. <laughs> to show you what I got. The very first thing I found was this basket. I love this basket so much. I'm always looking on the lookout for a larger style basket. Um, I've been specifically looking for like a French style basket that I could use as a laundry basket and I found this one. It was gorgeous. I did pay up for this. This basket was $14.99. Um, but I feel like I would have paid that or more retail anyway and this basket is in absolutely perfect condition and I love the color of it and everything so I was happy to bring this home. I will probably use it as a laundry basket because my kids keep stealing my plastic campers which so I don't mind. I like using the nicer ones anyway um, and uh, yeah so I will probably also decorate with it so I don't know we'll see but I was excited to find that and then while I was there I was like why is the store so busy today because I went at an odd time it was in the evening I don't usually go thrifting in the evenings I usually like to get there in the morning and you know get on with my day um, but there was a lot of people oh goodness excuse me and there was a lot of people at the store that day and I turned and looked up and thought, oh, yellow tags were on sale. And I was like, and I was standing in line, I was thinking, what was it with a yellow tag that I really wanted? And then I remembered um, I didn't get them because they were too expensive, but yellow tags were 50% off. So I went back and got them. And they are these Calvin Klein, um, just black patent leather pumps. They look like this. Um, and they're in really great shape and they were $15. So I got them for $7.49. So I was really excited about that because I had looked at these for I think three weeks in a row and then um, they just happened to be on sale that day and I completely forgot. So that was awesome. Then I found another home decor item. It was $2.99 and it's just another one of these brass candlesticks. I love these things so much. Um, and it, this one is in really great shape and it was $2.99. So that's really awesome. I'm starting to get quite the little collection of these guys. Um, the one thing that has eluded me is a brass candle snuffer. I have a pewter one. I've never found a brass one. Isn't that crazy? Everybody's like always finding brass candle snuffers. I don't. I find pewter and silver. Okay. These I found for my daughter Josephine. She has a really cool funky style. Um, and I saw these. I was like, ooh, these are cute. And we were the same size shoes. So I tried them on and then I texted her. I was like, do you like these? Um, and she said, yeah, so I brought them home to her. But they are Italian leather wingtips in the color red. They have a nice chunky heel like this. And so um, we, I was excited to find these for her. Now these were, um, I bought these on a Wednesday. So this is two separate trips that I made. Um, so these were only 25% off. And then, you guys, the thrifting on the second trip was amazing. I couldn't believe all the stuff that I found. There was so much good stuff, but I really could not believe I found this piece because it's ginormous 
and I love it and I just felt so so lucky that I found it but it is a ginormous milk glass pedestal fruit dish <laughs> isn't that gorgeous I love the um, the cutouts oh, what is that called I can't remember um, and I paid $5.99 for it and I did get 25% off but oh my gosh I am so excited I have not bought a milk glass piece in so long I don't really think milk glass is in style right now I don't care I still love it and I still use it and I think I'm just gonna put this on my table with my fruit in it and use it as it should you know was it its intended purpose so um, yeah I think this is just stunning I can't wait to wash it and use it and I, I love the fluting on the on the pedestal as well okay I'm gonna set that down and then <laughs> in the video I found found so many beautiful fresh fresh fruit no fake fruit and the the lemons were amazing but I don't decorate with lemons but I can decorate with um, pears in the fall because I love pears um, they had a, a thing of apples as well why does this not fit <laughs> I think they put the wrong one on the wrong box um, so I grabbed these they were $1.99 a piece and these are just um, you know fresh fruit or fresh fruit I keep wanting to call it fresh fruit fake fruit pears but I grabbed one um, that colorway and then here is the other box and they look like this I'll take one out so you can see it closer but they look so good so I grabbed those for my fall decor and I think they will be perfect and that is what I got for my haul. Now we'll show you what I've been doing in my living room and kitchen. Um, I don't think I've done too much redecorating in the kitchen. I just added the blinds, but I will definitely show you what they look like because they are amazing. Because every good DIY project starts with going to the home improvement store. Here we are. We needed lumber for new window trim. Our living room window was the last window in the house to get the upgraded trim. Uh, we had been waiting, I don't know why, <laughs> probably because of time, I guess, to replace this trim. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the windows as well as the track and give them a good scrubbing while we're at it. And uh, don't mind my jammies because I do my best work in my pajamas. 99% of the time. <laughs> While Gabe was nailing on the new trim, Odin was hiding behind me because he's afraid of the noise and he didn't understand what was making the noise so he wouldn't go near Gabe while he was holding any tools whatsoever. <laughs> Odin, no, Odin's afraid of the tools. <laughs> no. but look, he's going to come hide by me, honey. <laughs> it's just a loud noise, buddy. It's okay. Where's my baby boy? Go get Papa. He's okay. Put that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's not sure which one makes the loud noise, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I'll swap it. No. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Here you go. Can you look at the camera, bud? Odin. Where's my baby? Come here. Once Gabe got the window all trimmed out, it was my turn to come in and caulk and paint. I love the difference that a little bit of caulk makes. It just really finishes out any trim job, especially if you're doing white trim and just makes everything look so seamless and beautiful. For paint, I use Valspar's, uh, paint and primer in one in the color just pure white semi-gloss uh, and that is what I use on my trim around the whole house. 
It feels so good to finally have all the trim in the house matching and fresh and clean and it just looks so nice and makes such an impact. And while I was at it, I, because I had the paint out, I decided to go ahead and touch up the trim boards behind the couch as well. And now for the extra fun part, finally opening my blinds to see what they look like. I chose the jute and linen woven wood blinds in light filtering. You can also get them in blackout. Um, and I chose not to do that. I love light. Um, just know that the light filtering are a little bit see-through. So if you have privacy issues, you will probably want the blackout. Gabe says installation is going to be really easy because this hole goes all the way through. This bracket right here will screw into the top of our window like this with this part going through here in the back and then you just put the wing nut on. So that's super easy. These blinds can be charged by USB, a power bank, or solar panels. I chose solar panels. Mine are not here yet, but I wanted to get this video done for you. I will show you those in one of my upcoming videos. Um, and they are also smartphone compatible with Alexa and your Apple HomeKit. However, because we will be building our home, a new home in the next year or so, I chose to just get the remote. Finally, it's time to show you how I made the curtains. I started with these 12 foot panels that I had recently thrifted and added this back tap loop tape to one of the finished ends of the panel simply by sewing all the way around top and bottom of the tape, not the sides. Then I folded my fabric over at 50 inches, which it, when I unfold it will give me 100 inches. I like my curtains to go from floor to ceiling, which at eight feet is 96 inches. This gives me four inches of room for a one inch double hem and a three inch hem. So I'll fold it over one inch and then over three inches and I'll have a three inch finished hem for the bottom of my curtains. I have it pinned at the one inch. I'm going to fold it over again for three more inches and then take it to the sewing machine and sew that top edge. I think they turned out fabulous. I also made two lumbar pillow covers. I have a tutorials on my channel already for pillow covers. Just look those up and you will find them. Decided to try and save this fiddly fig from the home improvement store while I was there. Its leaves were all wrinkly and it had a little bud coming in that does have a hole in the middle of it, but I'm going to try to work my magic. To save a little bit of money, I cut down a five gallon bucket, drilled some holes in the bottom and repotted it in there and then put it in a previously thrifted sewing basket after I cut the handles off that. I added my chamber pot to the top shelf of my vintage secretary with some books and a magnifying glass and left it simple. You might recall that this basket once had a handle. I took that off as well as added some goodies inside. The bell adds a perfect little touch of brass and here are those beautiful books I just thrifted last time. Thank you to Smart Wings for my beautiful blinds. I will have them listed down below in my description box for anybody that is interested, as well as that uh, back tab tape for the curtains. Um, you might want that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'd like to know, did you like this style of video? It's kind of like a potpourri of a little bit of everything that I love. I figured if I love it, you would too. Thanks, guys. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. Oh, and here's the living room with the new artwork added.